She turned away and instead searched for the e-reader that should be here somewhere. On it, she hoped to find the files that would unlock the whole case her boss had her working on. As a cybersecurity analyst for the FBI, her days were mainly focused on processing data and solving complex coding puzzles. And that was yet another reason why she wanted to get that promotion so badly. Team leaders got more time in the field, more hands-on experience with cases. She'd had the training, and she certainly had the brains. All she needed was to crack one major case as proof she could handle herself in face-to-face -face situations. Now, if Super Stud McSpy over there would get the hell out of her way, she'd have her chance. Hey, what do we have here? Scotty pulled a manila folder out from beneath some lacy lingerie. Hello there. I'll take that. Haley snatched the file from his hand and hurried over to the bed before he could protest. Maybe this will tell me where she is. Or maybe. He reached over her shoulder and snatched it back. It will tell me what really happened to my friend. Give that back. Make me. She wanted to kick him in the nuts. She wanted to tell him off up one side and down the other. She wanted to nibble on those firm lips until he was as turned on as she was. Damn it! Haley clenched her jaw and resumed her search through the dresser while he took a seat on the bed. Screw him and that stupid file. Nothing worth anything would just be lying around like that anyway. Natalie Matthews was too intelligent. Haley had been tracking the woman for months, even before her husband's death. The young widow would never stash important intel beneath her unmentionables, especially someone with Natalie Matthews past shit. Scotty's harsh curse echoed in the quiet space. What? She looked over her shoulder, a wad of undies in her fist. What's in there? You're not going to like this. I already don't like this. She dropped the clothes in her hand, then swiveled to face him, sliding the drawer shut with her back, then waggling her fingers. Let me see. His face looked oddly ashen beneath his golden tan. I don't think. Whatever was in that file couldn't be that bad. Give it here. Impatient, she yanked it from his hand and stared at the receipt inside. Roselawn Cemetery, plot number 157, paid in full. Haley frowned. Okay, her husband had died not long ago. Maybe it had been for him. She flipped to the newspaper clipping beneath and scowled at the headline. Seal's wife found dead in home. There had been no reports of any murders related to Natalie Matthews in the Bureau's files. Natalie couldn't be dead. She couldn't. Not to mention the fact there was no logical reason for this information to be hidden in the underwear drawer. Which meant someone else had planted it there. Haley slumped down onto the edge of the bed beside Scotty and checked her watch. She was due back in the office in a few hours. She thought this would be a quick in and out, grab the e-reader and go. Instead, she had no digital files and a ton more questions. This had been her one shot, her one chance at making a name for herself. Scotty apparently took her defeat as grief because he put his arm around her shoulders, tucking her into his side. His tone cracked a bit, as if he was actually shaken up by this turn of events. I can't believe she's gone, too. The scent of him, spice and sandalwood and clean, warm mail, begged Haley to close her eyes and savor his strength while she could. It had been so long, too long since anyone had held her and cared for her like this. His warm, minty breath stirred the hair near her temple and her pulse kicked up a notch. We should, um, probably visit the gravesite, he said. Haley's analytical brain slammed the brakes on her libido. Nope. Visiting that cemetery without gathering all the intel first would be a colossal mistake. Details kept people honest. Details kept people safe. No, we should wait until we have all the facts. Oh, shit. He shook his head in mock disgust. You're one of those details, gals, huh? He straightened and stared down at her. Details take too long. Not with me, it won't. Scotty wrinkled his nose. Why is that? Because I graduated top of my class at Quantico in both cybersecurity and emerging malware threats. I'm one of the world's leading experts in emerging tech viruses, and there isn't an encryption in existence that I can't crack. Any other questions?